Bonjour. Bonjour. Euh, We're doing it in French today. Oui. All of it. Bienvenue à cette édition spéciale de Welcome to Our Dead by Daylight. So the title is actually the whole text that we're going to say the whole show in English, but we're doing nothing in French. Uh, so yeah, hello, hi, welcome back to us. Uh, we uh, will be uh, quietly explaining things today uh, since Ash is not here, so we will not get overly excited, I think. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, yay, I missed you guys. Uh, that's a lie. I was at PAX. I was way too busy to miss. No, that's not true. I missed most of you. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, suggestive oh, back. and Murph and Clyde and Sassy. All of you, uh, you, uh, you are dear to me. So there. Mike is crackling. Again. I'm not supposed to tap that. No, don't touch it. Crackle, crackle. Come on. Could be the name of uh, Crackle Crackle. Crackle Crackle, I think, is a great name for a killer. Is it good now? No. Twitchy. No. Mm. I touched it. Don't do that. Okay. It's super annoying for everyone. All right. Okay. Microphone. No. It's it's fine. We'll roll with it until the crackling uh, becomes part of your mind and kind of <laughs> disappears in the background. You'll get used to it. And then we don't talk about it anymore. All right. Also, Roberto was on it. Yeah. yeah. All um, right. So the things I want to talk about, yeah, first of all, a little uh, bit on PAX. PAX was a crazy, mad moment. Uh, it was really cool to see a lot of you out there come to see us at the booth. Uh, it was great to be uh, part of the NVIDIA boot and the Alienware boot and the Intel boot and to uh, meet a lot of really cool people uh, from Twitch and so on. Uh, we had a good time. The team, it always feels good for the people there to actually feel firsthand the wave of, uh, of enthusiasm from the, mm -hmm. the passionate fans that we have out there. So, yeah. Yeah, and then they come back and it... Uh trickles down on yes. everyone on the team and motiv motivates everyone. There's leakage and it sort of propagates. Team bondage. There you go. That's mm -hmm. my gift for today. <laughs> uh, so that was amazing and we brought back a few good ideas also on uh, what to do. So for the people who did not manage to get one of those amazing uh, facial customization skins, That's it, really. Uh, all right. Next things you will see us at or might actually uh, be able to interact with some of us in, in the flesh. Mm. Uh, TwitchCon, which is happening at the end of this month, I believe. Uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, interesting party. Never been to a TwitchCon personally, but uh, I will be uh, there at the end of this month. And I will be saying things. I've been told that I will be able to say and may even be able to show things. Oh, you mean so like new things? Means like new things. Mm. Uh, so there. I will also be at the New York City Comic Con. I probably will not be alone there, so we might have a team, we might have a boot, we might have a thing, I don't know. Maybe it's just me with a little uh, sign that says Dead by Daylight in markers, mm -hmm. going, hey, I mm -hmm. did a thing, and then uh, and then that's going to be it. But uh, it should be really, really cool. Uh, so that's the next events we're going to be at. There will be more. I don't know of them just yet, so we'll see. Uh, how was your PAX, Dave? Um, well, I, I wasn't at PAX. Yeah, uh, and I know. I, I didn't follow a lot, actually. I just okay. saw some uh, pictures that you posted and um, that uh, Dead by the Light Twitter posted. That's all. Yeah, I, I brought a few that we will... Uh, uh, I will uh, show a few at the end of this when at we the get to the section uh, where we show things that mm. we find amusing. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I mean, there's a, there's a question that comes everywhere which is these skins can i get them anywhere it's a valid question yeah and the answer is 
at Bax. Yeah. Okay. There. Uh, so there. There might be a way to get some of them or a version of them in the future. Don't uh -huh. freak out. Ah. Uh -huh. But, really, uh, there's no certainty in that. All right. Uh, put shoe on head to prove not pre-recorded. What do we have to put on our head? Shoes. N no. no. But this is not pre-recorded. So there. I'll put my phone on my shoulder for a second. That's it's the same. It's exactly the it's same. the same. Right. So that was the list of things that I wanted to talk about. Then we have the questions. Or do we go with this first? This other bit? Uh, I guess we should go with the other bit. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, uh, how we work and what we're doing right now is what we want to get into. Uh, I, I don't know if you want to start on this or do you want me to jump in? And, uh, because I tend to talk a lot. I've been told, actually, that's a comment I had, that I talk a lot. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take a moment to not talk. Okay. Uh, I think it may have had more to do with the fact that uh, the others don't uh, get to don't talk, talk as enough. much. Well, uh, last week we, we talked quite a bit. No. Oh. Um, okay, well, uh, we're all French Canadian except Ash, who is not there today uh, to answer any question. I just saw in the chat. Oh, okay. Uh, French Canadian, yes. Yes, yes very much Some so. of us have a, a bigger accent than others. Uh, yeah. Like me, yes. Uh, yeah, so what is the team up to right now? Um, well, multiple things. Uh, one of the things we've discussed uh, last, yeah. The big thing? The big thing. That we're working on right the now? The big thing that we're working on right now is lobby issues and matchmaking. And yeah, general bug fixing, but this is the big one. It is the big one. Um, I think that we mentioned it last week, but we're gonna say it again. Uh, there is a, a massive fix that uh, we have internally and been playing with. Uh, it's gonna be, Difficult to know exactly what it's going to do uh, when it goes out in the wild. Uh, that's why we're keeping it internally and, and playing with it as much as we can. Yeah, we've ma we've mentioned that before, but playing yeah. with anything that has to do with the matchmaking and the lobby is very risky because if we break it, then nobody can play. No, exactly. And we don't want that. Uh, so don't expect that today. I've seen uh, people uh, starting to get crazy about uh, there might be a patch today. Uh, there's nothing planned for today. No. Uh, don't expect it next week either, uh, but uh, you can expect it uh, somewhere after that. Yeah, uh, and, and one of the things that I want to talk about on this is that we are also working right now on a system so that we can potentially have a, a, not necessarily a, a test, uh, well, like many games have like test servers or whatever. We would have a test version of the game that we could make uh, available to people, uh, people like you, uh, so that you could help us test those big things before we push them to the live thing. Yeah. So that'd be uh, very, very uh, useful for us. It requires a little bit of work and it would require for uh, you out there to uh, help us out and to to understand that what you're trying might not be perfect and it might be a little clunky, but it would help uh, quite a lot in making sure that we can release stuff that is yeah. higher quality. So we're not exactly sure uh, the form it's going to take. Is it going to be like fully public? Is it going to be like a beta branch with invites? Is it going to be like a special program? I'm not sure what it is just yet. Hmm. Uh, but it's quite exciting. Yeah, so we'd like to do that. Uh, so it, it's it's part of all the different ways we're trying to be more efficient and to make sure that what we deliver every time is of higher quality. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Uh, so that you don't feel like uh, if you don't want to be part of the the, the test, well, you don't have to. There you go. Uh, the other thing is. Uh, to go into a little more detail, the brunt of the work that is being accomplished right now by the team has to do with fixing bugs and those matchmaking and lobby issues. That's the, the, the bigger part of the team. Yeah. There is a segment of the team working on new things, Yeah. which is really cool. Yeah, and like uh, one of them, like we discussed uh, um, last week, is something that's going to happen um, sooner. I didn't say the word, it's modified, I don't know if it counts, I'll take a shot, it's fine. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, the new loadout items, so there's going to be 
new items, new add-ons for everyone. Uh, so new add-ons have been created for uh, all the items. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. And for uh, all the killer powers. Uh, so you're going to have more, more things in the blood web for everybody. That's pretty cool. I yeah, didn't know it is, that. It is pretty cool. Like I look away for a few days, like, and I come oh, back, and that's what you've done. Things, yeah. All right, cool. And, uh, and offerings as well. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, are we uh, working on uh, other stuff? Yeah, there's uh, there's other things, but uh, at that point, I don't think we can talk about them. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll say though, because I, I like to say things. Uh, there will be more options for dressing your peoples up. Oh, yay. Uh, so there. there I go. said it. <laughs> you did. Uh, all right. So th that's uh, that's essentially uh, how, what we wanted to say about yeah, how we work right and what we're doing right now. I hope that makes sense. If not, uh, ask questions in the chat, yeah. which we are not really looking at. Yes. So uh, next, we will go to the Q&A portion Absolutely. for a little bit let's load that uh, I have it right here so talk about pack skins and matchmaking uh, didn't we just do that we did do that so uh, I'll, I'll say a few more things about that uh, the pack skins are pretty sweet I think yes. that that mustache mm -hmm. and uh, the the weird the unbalanced beard yeah mm -hmm. I, I heard someone say oh my god that's so weird uh, one of our friend is called Weird. Okay. So that's an actual name. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that. Okay. But uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Do you know like how many chuckles mask you you gave away? Uh, well, it's kind of easy to to know because we had one hundred of those cards made. The actual physical wow. cards with the the chuckles mask on. Uh, we had 100 printed and I came back here and yesterday I gave one to each member of the team yep. or almost so that's probably 25 so I'd say 50 to 75 were given out at PAX so that's not many very limited edition and the other ones were given to the team so if you see a team member on the street you you can be sure they have one on their person mm -hmm. jump on them <laughs> and shout and, and try to get it so there you go yeah okay that's why we did that don't do that uh don't do that and as far as the other skins which were the weird and the sharp mustache uh they're probably about 500 given out maybe a little less so maybe 400 very very limited yeah so nice uh, what about maps with different but similar objectives to generators or possibly just different looking props with the same function, Dave? Yeah, I think that here the question is, will we get more objectives in the future? That's um, a good question. And we, we get this uh, once in a while and uh, we already answered that yes, it's something that we'd like to add to the game. Uh, either it, their modes, objectives, uh, are you kidding? <laughs> I'm trying to look at you and it's impossible. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Uh, uh, me there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's something that we're looking into. Obviously, adding a new objective to the game is is something massive in terms of of balance. Uh, if stop, you have to stop that. Yeah, I need to look at. Yeah, okay. just, just look there for just for a little bit. Um, and um, well, yeah. So yes, yes, but it's gonna take a while. Okay. Before that, but that's not what, what the design team is working on right now. Absolutely not. Uh, uh, would you instead be working on things like I don't know a chapter, therefore maybe uh, killers, survivors, and maps? It could be something that we're working on. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Mm -hmm. uh, hey devs, could we possibly see the other survivor outfits get the prestige treatment so we can have blood-covered pizza Dwight and maybe mustache Dwight with the hat? Keep up the great work. Uh, I'd say, oh yeah, well, thank you. Uh, I'd say, uh, no. Uh, prestige... That's what I would have said too. Yeah, right. Uh, we intend to to add other costumes and we won't be able to do prestige for all of them. Like, mm -hmm. it, that would become quite crazy. Uh, we might have bloody versions of something, but it's never going to be as the prestige one. Now, uh, that said, 
um, other prestige level will happen at some point. We won't stop at, at prestige three. We could add more. Uh, we're just waiting for the, the time to be right. And then there could be other rewards at the end. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, how did the initial idea for the entity begin in the game development? Was there anything different you wish you could have would have done with it? We have we have to wait on Ash for this one. Mm. Absolutely. Really? Pass. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I think so. He has to. He has well, to one of the. Uh, I'll just say one thing though. One of the big push that happened to try to. Uh, like the one of the motivations that happened in in one of the cycles of creativity, if you will, uh, is when we were trying to design the big payoff for the killer. Absolutely. That moment when people get their just reward on the hook. Yeah. Uh, so that was a big moment where we had to clarify a few things, and we forced design to to look very closely at what they wanted this to be and how the the entity manifested yeah. but we'll get more information from uh, from ash at, at some point and uh, just adding to this uh, at some point in in the game development the hook was just about bleeding out on the hook nothing happened with the entity no and um thanks to this this feature basically now we can actually see a glimpse of the entity yeah it's pretty cool true uh, when will the cheat engine work properly? When will hackers be actually punished? Why do devs not care whatsoever that one in three people report a cheater in every game they play? But their stats and everything. Yeah. This so, person knows so, a lot. Yeah, but, th but they're not real stats. No, they're not. Absolutely not. So just for the record here, uh, uh, why do screenshots of said cheaters admitting they are cheating no matter? So, first of all, Screenshots of someone admitting something in a chat are not admissible in court. They're way too easy to Photoshop and, and play with. Also, people lie in chat all the time and they'll say stuff just to make you angry. So, not that we actually go to court, but <laughs> they don't. They wouldn't be receivable. No. Uh, why do you devs not care whatsoever? We do care. Yeah, we do. Quite a lot. Yes. Actually, Dave probably cares a little too much. Tiny bit. It would have been beautiful if you could have just squoze a little tear <laughs> For a new at gift. that moment. I can't do that. I, I don't I don't have that in my eye. I cannot. You don't you, don't, you don't have cries? I don't have cries. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm partially robot. What? <laughs> One in three people report that it's, if you have robotic eyes, why do you wear glasses? It's like a sh the shittiest <laughs> it's <like> version. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's a Superman trick, just hiding. The ah. Even though I said it to you now. That does explain it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we do care whatsoever. And that that's not one in three people report a cheater in every game they play. Absolutely not. And then the cheat engine works properly as we have talked about and evolves and hackers and cheaters also work very hard and properly yeah uh, and then they get banned and then they find another way to do this and then they get banned again once the anti-cheat engine catches up and it's an ongoing uh, yes arms race so there uh next one why base matchmaking upon rank rather than upon cumulative survivor and killer levels? Mm. It's it's a very good question, and it's a decision that we took at the time of release. Uh, our uh, our mindset at that time was rank is going to equal skill, while level is going to equal grinding time, played. time, time played. So not necessarily skill. Um, and I wouldn't change that for like just a switch. Um, the thing, though, is that survivor and killer level does play a role in uh, in the power of a character, and um, also does the the win and lose rate. You know, yeah. Because the, how the rank is working, maybe I mean it's part skill, but it could be something else. So um, we are looking at these things uh, to make matchmaking better at some point. Right now, we're just looking at making it work properly on the technical side, and then in the other season, we'll most probably update how matchmaking is done. There you go. Right. I hope it answers question to that person. First off, thanks for making such a great game. 
Thank you. My question is, how does the team handle negativity from the community and does it ever cause the team to doubt its long-term decision-making? That's a very good question. Yes. It's very astute and perceptive. Mm -hmm. And it shows care, which I appreciate. Uh, some people handle it much better than others. Some people also uh, are more aware of it than others. I think that some members of the team spend very, very little time checking Steam forums and Reddit and whatever else. Uh, some spend quite a lot of time on it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, it, it's tough. I mean, it's tough. Um, but negativity is going to be part of, of any uh, group of people reacting to what you're doing. Personally, I try to interpret it as passion, pure and simple, that comes off in weird ways. Uh, it's not always the case, and it's not always easy. But uh, as far as doubting the long-term decision-making, I remember uh, when we came back from E3, which was our launch. It was the first time we had a, an explosion of those comments everywhere. We were public, we were, everybody got their hands on the game, and they started screaming uh, left and right. And we had a few people on the team have a, a bit of a knee-jerk reaction and start mm. panicking a little bit. And I, 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 I didn't give a rousing, inspiring speech because I don't really do that. Uh, but, uh, but I remember telling people, there's a, the reason why this game works right now is because as a team, we've been able to make good decisions and we've trusted our instincts that this is the game we wanted to make and people would get behind us. And there's no reason to change that strategy right now because there's more people screaming. If we've made good decisions in the past and that's what led to the current success of the game, then we actually would do a disservice to everybody out there if we started basing our decisions not on how we feel about it or how we think the game should be, but how the people scream at us that we should do it this way and that way. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I thought was a good point, if I may say so myself. That's a good how answer. do you deal with negativity, Dave? Well, it's been a learning process. We've never been so close to that amount of um, interaction with the community. Uh, well, anyway, personally, it's, it's a first for me. I think for most people on the team. Right. And uh, so it, it's been a learning experience. At first, it was more difficult um, to face the majority of, um, of, of toxic comments uh, that don't add anything uh, and take it more personally. But now that we've seen it and that we've adapted to it, we know which, you know, which one to read and which one to take into account. And I mean, we, we do go. Um, on Reddit, on, on the comments on Steam, and um, you know what uh, affects me the most are accusations of you know oh, the devs don't care or they don't read anything or they're they'll, lazy. They'll never do anything like because I mean w why you know and, and but that's it. It's just like you need to pass it something to someone else. And uh, I mean uh, all of the others out there, all of you or most of you that are here now. Uh, it have been a great support that balances all the negativity that we see as well. So it makes it worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Solely worth it. There. Okay. Well said. Next. Sabotage is a perk that absolutely kills the fun for the killers. Iron Grass makes it less fun for the survivors. What will be your opinion on removing both perks? Or changing how they work? in order to create more fun for everyone. Well, so there are a few assumptions that are rather large in this comment. No, but at the same time, we, we know about this. We know about this. Like, there, there are some... We always wanted to create a game where there's more than one meta, that there's more than one strategy, and that you kind of... Instead of choosing the, the thing that's going to make you win, or that's going to make, you know, for sure I'm going to win with this, which is, is not true, or for sure I'm going to make more points with this, which is probably not true, um, we try to have more than one meta so that you actually do what you want. And um, um, we know that these there's a perception and, and there's also a way to use sabotage and iron grasp which makes it less fun. And we will address them. Uh, it, it's um, 
as any other perk or add-on or power that we have in the game. I kept this question, this question here. There's a lot of questions about, are you gonna buff this? Are you gonna nerf that? And the answer is always uh, yes. We are looking into these kind of things, but we cannot just update every day on anything we do. We have to think about it uh, and, and test them. But I decided to keep this question because these two are actually one that are on your list. important on my list. Okay, there so you. nerf, sabotage, and uh, iron grasp confirmed. Or <laughs> a change. <laughs> None thing is confirmed. Next question. Uh, I, I really would, like, uh, on the last day of PAX, I got uh, someone on Twitter that uh, sent a picture to me of their brand new sabotage level three perk tattoo. Mm -hmm. So if you nerf it, it's <laughs> gonna suck. <laughs> Let's not make it suck. <laughs> So there. <laughs> Are you going to rework all core survivors and killers? Adept achievements. The new ones are much better. I know, right? But we cannot. We cannot do that. Like, uh, the achievements are in history. We cannot change them. Some people have won them, so we can change them to make them it's easier. It's part of the legacy fun. now. It's part of the legacy. But I think, Leah, that the new ones are, are much better. They're, they're more fun. Uh, so uh, I'm going to continue to make these uh, like that for the next chapter. Hopefully, six months from now, we'll get a question about the achievements that we put out with the last breath chapter because they are not as good as the ones that we just made six months from now. Probably going to happen. Let's put that in a time capsule for later. Uh, just wondering if there will be a feature to organize the perks inventory add-on menu in the future. <gasps> I forgot to attach the image. Bucket! Can you share the image? Send to Matt. Yeah, email it to me. Yeah. Please. Uh, so, uh, is that the extent of your answer? Yeah, we'll come much. back I'm to just it. Gonna, I'm just okay. going to wait the thing. All right. In the Hillbilly Memento Mori animation, we can see that he cuts survivors in a half right above the stuff. <laughs> Will you ever make mutilation effects or cutting limbs or anything similar? We had a big conversation about that at the beginning of the project. Dismemberment, uh, beheadings, uh, having people explode into gibs and things. Uh, it could have been fun. It could have been a terrible mistake. Uh, we talked about it a lot. Technically, a few of the people uh, on the team, like uh, Johnny, were saying, oh, I'm so happy you decided not to go with that because obviously there's frame rate issues and there's mm. performance and whatnot. But the real reason we didn't want to go with that is because when we looked at all the different types of horror movies and all the different types of horror depictions, uh, we felt that the the things that are uh, suggested, things that are half shown, are very often. Uh, I would. I was about to say very often more uh, stronger and more more uh, emotionally, t you know, intense. But that's not true. It's just we felt more. Uh, that it, it was more something we wanted to do. Yeah. It really, it, it came down to that. We could have done a gore simulator inspired by stuff that's very graphic in some movies that people love quite a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and we decided not to do that. Yeah. We decided that the depictions of the actions were uh, going to be... The, the intensity of the situation is going to be where the intensity comes from it's yeah, not from the very vivid depiction mm -hmm. of the violence itself that's it uh, often anyway gore is uh, i appreciate gore in games but you kind of just get used to it and it's not like it, it's not gonna add to the emotion i find of, of fear or stress uh, in our case um, the, so the memento mori animation are sort of a little bit of an exception to the rule because since it was such an exceptional moment it was not going to happen very often and it needed to be a mm -hmm. good uh, moment to show something specific about the killer we went a little farther in that direction yeah but it, it but was it not a good enough excuse to create a system of dismemberment no, just no, for that. Exactly. And, and, and I mean, it, it's going both ways. Like if we look at the nurse, Memanti, uh, 
Memento Mori Moro. Yeah, Memento Moro. Uh, animation, it goes uh, the total op opposite. Like, there's there's no blood, there's no uh, nothing, but it's it's uh, unsettling. Like, it's, it's really horrifying. Um, so, there. Uh, also, on a side note, which is probably more on my plate than you and shouldn't be, uh, Dismemberments, beheadings, and and very very uh, th there's a few oh, yeah, specific yeah. activities like this that would have uh, that would have prevented us from being sold in a few different countries. So making there. the game less accessible it, is not good. And it, and it would not uh, we don't feel like it, we would have won so much by doing that anyway. No. Uh, so that's the answer. What else we got? Uh, hey, congrats on the 1 million copies sold. Thank My you. question is if we will see servers in the future. Uh, you probably will not see physical servers uh, because those things are usually hidden. Yeah. Uh, however, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, do we have the thing? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yes, I should have answered here. <laughs> yes, yes. You should. that's <laughs> fine. There you go. Uh, good. So, uh, servers. Yeah. Uh, we are working right now on, uh, as we were talking about, the, the whole system with the, the matchmaking and the lobbies and these things. And obviously, some of that goes through uh, using a back end that we're creating. I'm not the right guy to talk about the technical uh, fine points Please of try. our network. Please try. Uh, so, okay, let me take an example, make a comparison. If the game was a goat and we were placing it in a field filled with small pebbles, mm. those small pebbles. <laughs> Please do, do go on. <laughs> <laughs> if these small pebbles represent the people trying to play the goat or the game in this case, mm -hmm. uh, the servers would probably <laughs> be something like a gentle stream uh, <laughs> that goes around uh -huh. all of that. Yes. Uh, in technical terms, the stream that we have right now has a large content of mud in it. Mm. Uh, MUD here obviously stands for peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, ah. So, uh, if I understand what Fedzi was explaining to me, uh, we are going to change that for uh, thicker MUD. That would <laughs> <laughs> represent what? the exact same system, but uh, with a healthy... Uh, amount of manure and oh, some sediments uh, so, so the kind of mud you pay a lot to sit in yes uh, take a bath in exactly I hope that was clear uh, oh that's the thing yeah okay so I'll copy it into the right yeah, place absolutely. so answer another question while I do that okay I'm gonna read next question um, are you considering addressing camping in a mechanical capacity, such as, capacity, such as slowing the entity's progression when the killer is near the hook? Um, uh, yes, we did consider uh, these type of mechanics. Uh, there's a lot in the list. Uh, we're still not ready to address the issue. Um, it's, it's, but it's something that we're looking into, yes. I know that uh, a lot of you are annoyed by uh, hook camping. Um, but also, I mean, you should totally give a break to the killers who are patrolling near the hook. It, I, it, it's fine. Um, just be careful when you get near a hook, or most of the time in the game, um, to know where he is. Are we ready? I missed this? all of that. No, it's fine. So are we ready with the image? Can so you show the thingy? Ah. So here's, a, I mean, there's not, there's not much to see here, but uh, um, you can see that things have been hoarded so it's uh, a glimpse into the future the future uh, so there's a couple of things in there you can see new icons and new tabs how we reorganize the is that a little drop down menu where you can f sort Ex by different exactly things? so you could choose if you want to order by uh, rarity by gloves by um, color of item no I don't know but by rarity is one of them by name for example by amount that you have. Um, 
So there you go. That's something that uh, uh, is in UI concept right now. So it's it's far to be ready to be implemented, but it's something that uh, should help uh, everyone. Yeah, I agree. It'll help me. Yeah. Um, so that was for that question. I'm going to delete. Um, would you consider removing all perks from the scoreboard before the game is finished? Oh, um, I get it. Yes, and that and that. When I read it earlier today, yeah, I didn't yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the issue is with uh, survive with friends, and yes, it's something that we will look into. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it, it is a cheat. You shouldn't know as a survivor what the killer has equipped until the. Then again, end. it's it's a cheat where one of you has to die. Yeah, but still, it's I mean, an expensive cheat. My, well, if you're gonna die and you have the, this uh, the strategy that kind of appears, I mean, it's yeah. it, it shouldn't be there. Okay. Um, yeah. Next. Will you add more rewards for the prestige? Oh, we did answer that. Oh. Uh, does Dwight's face model know he has gained a cult following? We we've talked to him a few times about that. Mm -hmm. We've told him and we pointed him to a few of the Steam groups, the more uh, occult. Steam groups uh, that are out there talking about the, the Dwightening mm -hmm. and the, the Church of Dwight and all of these things. And uh, so we've made him aware, but I, I don't think that he internalized it. No. I, I don't think he, he gets it. No. Well, maybe if uh, someone actually recognizes him as Dwight in the and street. Like on the street? Yeah. Sometime that no. would be. Uh, I do get that though. And then I have to tell people it's not. It's not me. No. Uh, what are your future plans on Dead by Daylight? Huh? That's a kind of broad question. Yeah, so uh, more stuff. No, but seriously, much more stuff. Uh, I think that the the recipe we, we've put together for our chapters, so killer, survivor, map, is something that we like so far. Uh, we will definitely have more of that coming. Uh, and then we have a long list or a bucket of uh, different features or, or things like that that we want to add. Uh, things like uh, different languages being translated, things like the key bindings that we added, uh, these kinds of... Stats for the players, leaderboard. Uh, yeah, just name it, it's there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we want to bring. So new killers, new survivors, new maps, that's for sure going to happen. Uh, and then uh, new features and, you know, the, the, uh, the UI stuff that you just shown is a good example of us making this game better and making this a smoother experience for anybody playing. Uh, we're going to keep listening. We're also probably going to continue our presence in different events and making sure that uh, we stay in contact with the community. Uh, those Twitch sessions are going to keep going. Uh, even because we like doing that. It's kind of fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, who knows what else. There's a few things that we have to keep on the wraps right now, but we have a few uh, really cool ideas of, uh, of things to do and show you. Hopefully you are as excited with it as we are. Uh, so uh, Murph just uh, whispered something on the Google Doc saying, could you uh, touch real quick on the bots? Uh, the bots problem that we're having right now. And I just saw at the same time a question about is it okay to use macro for struggling and wiggling? Um, so I think they're related. Yeah. So bots are difficult to catch, um, more nice difficult so. to catch. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I think I'm correct, but we're uh, communicating with uh, Easy Anti Cheat to see if there's nothing, uh, anything that can be done about it. I'm sure they're looking into it. Um, now, one thing that could happen is macro could become a bannable subject. Um, I mean, some it's it's my understanding that some bots uh, are basically giant macros that are playing. They're um, saying bots, not butts. Yeah, butts. We're not gonna ban butts. Butts are Personally, okay. I, I like big butts. Oh, yeah. Uh, so anyways, just saying that be careful when you're creating macros on your side for anything. Uh, right now we're not doing anything about it, but it could become a, a bannable uh, action. There you go. Yeah, so there. So we're, we know about it and we're looking into it. 
But wiggling is hard to do. But. So there you go. Next question. Have you ever considered creating new characters based on ideas and suggestions by fan, either on the Steam discussions or the Dead by Daylight subreddit? Yes. Yes. We have considered it. Yeah. We're not going to do it. Right? Maybe. Oh. Why so not? So we are going to do it. Why not? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, right now, the next ones, at least, we have a few really cool ideas, and and uh, and that's what we're gonna do. But uh, who knows? The future is bright and full of possibilities, and uh, we have a few people out there with really creative ideas yeah. and stuff that's really yeah, yeah, like good stuff, not just like yeah. boaty McBoat face, which uh, is coming in the next update. <laughs> Uh, no, and, and also we, we also have uh, internally, obviously we have a giant bucket of things that we'd like to do. And every time one of you say an Give idea. Give me a clown. For example, or something more um, well complex as in the lore and story around. Like then, two clowns. <laughs> yeah, for example, it kind of tells us that, well, it's something that uh, you want. Two and midget clowns and a big coat. You know, change our priorities. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But... Butt clowns. Yeah. Uh, Do you plan on making it harder to gain rank one in the future? If yes, how so? I think no. Uh, of it's what? already very it's hard very to be rank one. It's very difficult. And maybe this uh, um, this person had a v easy time getting to rank one, which is fine. Now, what we do want to add at some point is a leaderboard when you get to rank one. So yes. You can actually progress still and uh, stay in the competition. Yeah. So when you get to rank one, you gain access to the world leaderboard and you notice that you are number 2,726 in the world. And then you're like, ah, that's not rank one enough. That's it. Yeah. Do you think the 710k gray area introduction was a success and balanced the game out enough for it to be kept in place permanently in following seasons? Uh, it's not going to be permanent. We're already working on uh, a new season, not not for the next season, not for September. Uh, but we're working on something different as in terms of how, how you rank and how you score. So it will change. Uh, but to answer the question, uh, I do think that it helped quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, we see now in the amount of games that are played that uh, the uh, players are all over the the, the ranks, mm -hmm. like from 20 to 1, and not like stuck at 2019 and then a couple at 1. Uh, so, it, yeah, it worked on that front. All right. Can you improve gameplay for Trapper? I mean, sometimes you want to reset traps, you need to pick it up, then set it. It's worse when you have the trap already because you need to set this one first. It would be nice to have the ability to reset traps without picking it, like when you step in your own trap. Uh, it, it, it would. Uh, I won't. This is how the trapper works. And the trapper is still number one right now. Uh, he's, a, he's a really powerful... Well, I mean, they're all, they're all powerful. To yeah, be honest. yeah. But I just mean that... Uh, it, it wouldn't be a gameplay improvement to give you these options. We've decided that the trapper would work like that because you need you need a penalty to to your traps. You need a, a, a way for them yeah. to work, you know, so that it's part of the balance. And traps are always an investment. You need to invest some time yeah. and some some moments of n yeah. You, you take the decision I'm gonna to put use it. it. Yeah, it's there part of go. the thing. Uh, and and uh, I think that the important bit is we don't think it would improve gameplay for the trapper. No. But, you, no. Uh, would you consider adding more abilities to the killers so that people could choose from two or three different abilities per killer? Maybe the add-ons could change automatically to the ones used for certain ability, kind of like the different item for survivor. Uh, no. Well, I mean, we'd consider it, and then we'd go, no, we're not going to do that. No. Uh, the, that was the, the idea from the start. Killers have one power that they use. Some add-ons can greatly transform the way you use that power, but it's the power mm -hmm. that you have, and that's yeah. what you do. Um, so, yeah, a new power would be a new killer. 
Yeah, and there will be. Yes, and then the other thing that uh, we are still considering, maybe, is that you would have variation. So it's not a new ability, but it's a variation on, on one that already exists. A bit like what we've we're going to introduce in the next uh, in the next. Uh, loadout, what I've talked before, like uh, the variation of flashlight, variation mm. of the toolbox. So they, they're they basically the same power, but they have um, add-ons already equipped or things that change the, the ability a little bit. They're uh, tweaked. Yeah, that's it. Uh, will there be any way for us to get the PAX exclusive if we didn't go to PAX? Oh, no, I really want that sexy bold Dwight. We did answer that. We can answer it again, I guess. Uh, so yes, it might be possible to get a version of those in the future. Uh, yeah, it might be possible to get a version of those in the future. That's it. Good. Uh, so there. All right. Um, so we're, we're done with our list for this week. We have uh, way more, but we've selected uh, 20 questions for today. Um, you had things to show? You want to show that now? Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, oh, merch. Yes, I will mm. talk about merch. So uh, we, we have uh, taken down a few... Well, asked people to take down a few shops out there and sellers that were selling uh, Dead by Daylight merchandise. Uh, some people were contacting us saying, hey, I bought a shirt or whatever from you and I never got it. Uh, well, because we don't sell anything right now. So you bought it for someone who was not enough, uh, an official dealer. And then uh, whether you got it or not, I don't know, but it wasn't official merchandise. That being said, we heard you loud and clear. And we are currently working on uh, creating our own partnership with some established uh, uh, manufacturers and 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 sellers and distributors of these things so uh, very quickly hopefully we will have uh, our own uh, merchandise available to you so uh, yeah that's coming I, I do want my uh, dead by daylight shower curtains so the best the best uh, can I get a job at dead by daylight well uh, and actually that comes back once in a while maybe that's just a funny uh, that someone made but uh, if it's not uh, check uh, the behavior digital website we always have openings for talented and enthusiastic people uh, so just uh, submit your resume or uh, whatever and then uh, we will get in touch no probably not us but uh, still mm. do it mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it for me this uh, this career and this uh, company was uh, one of the best uh, moves I've ever done. I'm just saying. Agreed. Okay. What else? Uh, oh yeah, things. Would you like to show us things? Please. Let's see a thing. Okay, so that was the first day at PAX. Awesome. That was absolutely amazing. I went to the Twitch booth and we bumped into this very talented. Uh, cosplayer, uh, believe you can find her under the name the Hooded Woman, and uh, she was dressed as the nurse, and she's uh, an excited player. She's uh, she's a big fan of the game, and so we had her take a picture with our friendly trapper that was there. So the trapper is us, right? Yeah, the trapper is with us. He's our he's our friend, the trapper that uh, uh, walks around with us in those uh, events usually. But that. Uh, lovely nurse woman was actually a uh, private citizen, a, a civilian. <laughs> she she's a I, I believe a cosplayer. I don't know if she's professional cosplayer. I, I don't know, but she's very good and she does this a lot. Amazing. And uh, we were uh, we were freaking out when we met her. So thank you and uh, shout out to you, Miss. Uh, these two were uh, Meg and Claudette. They were very, very good and they uh, kept doing the moves and they played the game. Uh, actually, the funny story, I asked them, that was on the second day of PAX and it's because they came in the first day and we told them, no, you can't get the, the Chuckles mask, that's only for cosplayers. So they both went out that night <laughs> and bought clothes at, at, I don't know, Walmart or something and then they made those costumes the whole kit and they came in the next day Good. and we were uh, very excited to see awesome. them come back so that was amazing 
Uh, this was our prestige Dwight that we got. This uh, woman actually spent quite a lot of time at our boot with her very patient uh, boyfriend, husband, male escort. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they were lovely, both of them. We had a great time. So, uh, so cool. Thank you so much. So prestige one. Yeah. Uh, these three. <laughs> Isn't that a great group picture? So we had a pizza Dwight, uh, Jake, and uh, a regular Dwight. Uh, the regular Dwight you see in that picture spent four days of packs in our line. And when he got to the end and he couldn't get back in line because it was capped, then he'd sit and watch people play, and then he'd go right back in the line. At some point, he had his dad stand in line in his place so that he could spend more time watching the game. Awesome. And then uh, we had him play the devs at some point, and he did okay. I got out. Hi, <laughs> nice. And Good for Dom, you. Uh, Dominic got out. Uh, so that was great. Uh, this was uh, Angry Pug mm. that came by the boot. He spent some time with us. Uh, it was really cool to actually uh, shake his hand and spend a little time with him. Uh, and. Uh, we talked to him about a little surprise that we have in store for him. So uh, if you don't subscribe to his channel, go check it out because it's going to be fun. So that's a better picture of the nurse. It's better because it's from her actual uh, feed Instagram. It was taken somewhere. Okay, now we're getting into the artwork uh, section of the program. So that comes from uh, some Russian friends. I have no idea what the caption says, uh, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's just a s sincerely weird situation. It's silly. I love it. It's a little silly. Uh, next one, beautiful art. That's, that's it. That's what it's called. I have to say thank you to everybody that's doing art, fan art. It's amazing. I love it. It's really, really so... Look at this thing. Yeah. Nice. It's absolutely so cool. Uh, so, yeah. You have Keep the, it up, Do please. we have the names of these persons? Uh, uh, they'll be put in the comments afterwards. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> who lost a Dwight? Who, there was a, who, who found this child? Mm. I think that was the caption. Uh, and this... Nice. That's a very abstract uh, rendition of our killers. Uh, I... Yeah. I like chuckles. I mean, uh, that's a shot. God right? Damn it. Yeah, it is. And that's us. Hello. So there's 10 minutes left, so we can take uh, questions from the feed. Ooh. Ooh. That's a... Uh, Do it. Okay, it's a little nerve-wracking uh, because... We're uh, in slow mode, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, let me go back up a little bit, mm -hmm. see if there's uh, questions here. Oh, yeah, can we... Oh, no, that we answered that before. What? Um, Buff Dwight. How about skill checks for uh, Wiggle... Instead of button mashing, uh, pr probably not. Uh, that's uh, that's the mechanic of uh, the thing. That's how it works. Um, okay. I mean, there's, there, there might be other things in the future, and there might be other mini games like this, uh, but that one works like this. Um, I saw a question uh, that's actually pretty funny. Um, so the YouTube video of the stream uh, 16 has not been posted. Really? Yeah, and also the YouTube channel is not now called. Paul Gordon, which is also very funny. I thought that was fixed. No, but, well, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay. But, uh, so basically, uh, Paul was at uh, PAX with you guys, right? Yeah. So that's why. And yeah. It wasn't posted in time, but it will. Yeah, that's uh, that's very funny. Uh, oh, Paul. Paul, who is uh, on vacation right now. So, hi, Paul. Uh, it's very hard to read. Can you add a 15 meter radius of local voice chat? No. No. New maps for Asylum? Uh, I'd, I'd like that. Yeah. But there, there's only there one will right be. now. Yeah. I'd like, uh, I'd like for more... Uh, I mean, these, uh, these location, we need to revisit uh, more than once. I do, I do want that. 
Why is the pocket watch the only add-on affected by the Tinkerer perk? Oh, for the nurse. Uh, so, Tinkerer uh, in the future will will be uh, reseen, uh, reseen, revisited. I don't know how to say that. I lost my English. Revisited. Revisited. Uh, it's it's one perk that we want to make uh, more interesting. It's one of the I higher priority, but it, it's not coming in time uh, in the next loadout uh, patch. It's going to be later, but it's going to happen. A serious question. Would you guys nerf nurses calling? <laughs> That's your answer? <laughs> well, I mean, all questions are serious. You don't have to cap, cap no, it. No, not that one. So let's take another one. Um, how about a rainy map, snowy map, maps in the desert, uh, in uh, Candyland? Uh, all, all of these are, are things that we uh, think would be uh, awesome. Uh, having elements, wind, uh, rain, even maybe sunlight. Um, but they're all things that uh, necessitate a lot of work and we're just not ready for this. Okay. What are salty lips? Moving on. Okay. Uh, what if there is video footage of people cheating? No. Well, it it doesn't matter. That's not how the um, um, that's not how, how the anti -cheat. EAC works. Uh, and by the way, nothing on our side can be made for this. It's uh, it's it's only EAC. Obviously, we are in communication with them. Uh, I know there's there's an account that uh, can be used on Steam to report, so you can still use them, um, and yeah, it's but cold. Uh, but yeah, how it works is that it's not per individual, but it's their how they use the cheat that is caught, and then with that you can catch yeah. way more cheaters than just the one that's reported. Uh, but the report do help because if we can, if EAC can gather more information out of these, then. It helps. It helps. Uh, anything planned for Halloween as event or something else? It would be kind of uh, dumb. Yeah, well, would. first of all, it's my birthday. On Halloween? Well, it's on uh, November 1st, so I'll during the night uh, of it's Halloween. It's last yeah. call, yeah. 3 a.m. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'll uh, allow it. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. PC crash. I didn't really need that anyway. Yeah. Fine. So, uh, yes, uh, we will be doing something for Halloween. Personally, I'm going to go trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Dressed as the nurse. You will? No. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I might uh, cosplay as Dwight. Yeah, it's a good idea. But yes, uh, on a seriouser note, we, uh, we will definitely do something for Halloween. Just come uh, on. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be nice. Um, I'm trying to find another question, like a last. Someone one. was asking uh, what I take in my coffee. Uh, lots of sugar and some milk, but like way too much sugar, and then I drink it while eating mm. uh, dessert. Mm -hmm. Do you do you ever wear hats, and which type of hats do you wear? I do okay. wear a tuk. <laughs> in tuk. In tuk, is the. In tuk. Uh, yeah. In winter. Yeah. Yeah, because you could wear it during the summer and be one of those people. Yeah, but no. No. Uh, I also wear a tuk in the winter because if not, then your brain freezes. Not good. Uh, it's kind of dangerous here. Uh, However, I, I wear a straw cowboy hat when I go in nature. That's interesting. It's I'd like a, photos of that. I yeah. Um, I, I I used to wear a lot of hats. Yeah. Younger, mm -hmm. and I kept them all, and they're all in the top of a cupboard somewhere. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I don't do anything. I have a nice little red bowler hat. Mm. You should totally wear that next time. I will not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, when are you gonna fix things? I think we've answered that. 
everything is fixed. More character skins, we did answer that. They, they're they all made, million of them. Uh, the butts, the butts, we did talk about the butts. Yeah. We will um, not ban butts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Will, uh, will the new items release uh, with the new chapter? No. That'll be separate. It will be separate thing. Um, how many people play this amazing game? I think our uh, peak concurrent user right now was uh, something like 35,000. Uh, average, uh, on any given day as an average, there's between 15 and 20,000 people playing, something like that. At all time? Yeah. Pretty much. A anytime you're playing the game, there's about 15 to 20,000 yeah. people playing with you. And these stats are available on Steam, you can go check it out. Well, that's why I didn't feel too hesitant about talking about them. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, uh, I think we're done. One, one last thing, one last thing we want to say? Yeah. Oh, you mean... You? Yeah, you. <laughs> not, not you, you. Uh, okay, so words of wisdom for today. Uh, call your mom. Oh, that's a good one. Just do it. Take a moment. Call yeah. your mom. I talked to my mom today. Yeah. She went on a walk. 15 days. Wow. That's a long walk. Quebec, saint anne de bellevue Amazing. It's amazing. Very inspiring woman, my mom. Mm. Also, she's got rough feet. Oh. Telling you. <laughs> okay. So, so, yeah, do that. Call your mom. Take do a minute. That. Call your mom. Yes. Tell her you love her. If you're a mom... Uh, you can also you can call, call your, your kids, mom, I guess. Or, kids. or call your mom. Everybody has a mom. Yeah, uh, it's true. Yeah, and uh, you can uh, talk to her about our butt problem. Maybe she has suggestions. Mm -hmm, for your butts. All right. I think that's, that's it. it. Yeah? Okay, good. Let's wrap it up. Thank you very much for uh, showing up. It was, uh, again, a great pleasure to be here. Until we'll see you next time. week.